Today on Review This Thing, we're going to show you how these 410 shells do out of the CVA Scout with the True Lock Choke. This is Robbie with Review This Thing. If you've been keeping up with us the past several weeks, you've noticed that we've done several 410 pattern testing videos. Adrian started us off with the Mossberg 500 with the True Lock Choke. I wanted to get in on the action. So we picked up this CVA Scout and we mounted this Hawk Vantage IR Turkey Dot Scope to it and I've had a little bit of fun with it myself. By now you've seen us test several different TSS loads out of this CVA Scout and now we've been able to get our hands on this True Lock Choke. Well, let's go shoot it. So we're gonna be shooting seven different loads today. We picked up at least one extra to put in this video that's not in our other 14 videos. First up is the Pendleton. This one is brand new to our load testing. We just picked those up in the past couple weeks and we're excited to see what they do. Here we go. It looks pretty good. Quite a few shot in there. Let's go take a look. That's a pretty good pattern at 40 yards. It looks like it might be just a little bit left and we might have lost a little bit of shot over there. But overall, that's pretty good. So you guys have seen us use the six inch circle. We're gonna keep using that because that's what we've used on all the rest of the videos. We've got 34 pellets in the six inch circle. So you can see on the other side, we didn't have a lot in that six inch circle, but the pattern is all over the paper. So that's still a dead turkey at 40 yards. Next up is the Salt Creek number nines. These did really good out of this gun with the Kicks Goblin Thunder. Let's see what they do with this True Lock Choke. Oh wow, that's a better pattern indeed. Looks like it's, a lot of the shot might have went high, but it looks like a really good pattern. Yeah, that looks like a really good pattern. I think if we brought it down just a little bit, that'd be a really good shot. Keep in mind, this is not really sighting in per load. It's just looking at the pattern of each load and then we'll sight it in whenever we're ready to actually hunt with it. This is a Salt Creek, our six inch circle. We've got 47 pellets, but you can see there's pellets everywhere. So if this turkey were to move left or right, you're still gonna get some in the kill zone. Now we're gonna shoot Verdict. Verdict has done really good out of most of our guns. As a matter of fact, their 20 gauge load patterned really well out of Adrian's Stoger M3020, and she killed a turkey with it last year. So let's see what they look like with this one. That looks pretty good. Quite the pattern. That is absolutely a dead turkey. That one did really well. I don't think if we hunted with that, I don't think I would move it very much, and that looks like a really good pattern. All right, the verdict. Six inch circle, we've got 59 pellets, which is the highest so far. Looking at the front of it, once again, if he moves front or back, you got a dead turkey. Next up, the Apex Ninjas. Excited to see how these pattern, these have always done well also. Oh wow, that looks like a better pattern for sure. Can you see it out of that? That one might be, might be the winner so far. The Apex Turkey Ninjas seem to have done really well. Pretty excited to get a count on these. That one might be the best yet. You can see a bunch right there in the head and neck. So the Turkey Ninja just got a higher score than we just had. 77 pellets in that six inch circle. Pretty dense pattern. You can see it shot probably just a little bit high. Now we've got the Boss Tom. So far, the Scout hasn't really seemed to like the Boss Tom that much, but it did really good out of the Mossberg. So I'm excited to see what this different choke mic can do. Oh yeah, that one did really good. So it seems to have shot just a little bit high. Seems like all of these are shooting a little bit high, but that should be a pretty dense pattern right there, 40 yards. Let's see what the six inch circle reveals. And the boss Tom had 71 pellets in that six inch circle. You can see again, it seems like a lot of them are shooting high out of this true lock choke. If we're gonna hunt with that true lock choke, we need to adjust it down a little bit. It's pretty cool to see those 71 pellets also because the boss Tom hasn't done great out of that scout so far. It just goes to show you that you need to find the right choke and load for your gun. So all these loads have been shooting just a little bit high out of the true lock choke. I'm gonna aim just a little bit lower. Next up, we've got the regular Apex Turkey. It's funny, that one looks like it dispersed more all the way across. It's like it shot like the pattern is everywhere. I aim just a little bit lower on this one, but it doesn't seem to matter 
because this paper is pretty much full of shot all over. Not a really tight pattern in any one spot it looks like. All right, the regular Apex, nine and a half shot. We've got 58 pellets. Probably just a little bit left, you're, well, my left, you're right. There's still a great pattern on that paper. If that turkey moves forward or backwards, he's dead. Now we've got another newcomer this year, Viper Ammunition. This is the last round for today. They've been shooting really good out of Adrian's Mossberg 500. Man, same thing with that one. That whole paper is covered. And wow, it did really good too. It covered that whole paper. Looks really good. Probably gonna be a pretty good six inch circle on this one, I think. And last but not least, Viper Ammunition. 57 pellets. Like looking at it this way, you can really see they shot great. That six inch circle is right on that turkey's head. You guys can see all of these loads did pretty good. At 40 yards, as long as that six inch circle is on that turkey's head, no doubt you're getting a kill shot. But we are looking for the right load and choke combination that's gonna give us the tightest pattern so we can hunt turkeys with it this spring. So the top three out of the CVA Scout with the True Lock Choke is the Turkey Ninjas, the Boss Tom, and Verdict. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out our other 410 pattern testing videos and stay tuned for the CVA Scout full review coming up soon. Subscribe so you don't miss that. Hey, thanks for watching our CVA Scout True Lock Choke testing video. While you're here, watch a whole bunch of other videos. Give them a thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe if you like what we do. Make sure you share them with all your friends and check out our website, ReviewThisThingTV.com.